been a long day <sighs> very, very long day so you'll see in the next few videos of yeah what's going on but i figured i should announce because a lot of people reached out and said they got a what's up app comment about they won in the previous contest of what did we buy i don't have what's up I'm never going to say, hey, send me some money and I'll send you something uh, through a comment. That's not what we're doing. So I apologize. I think everybody in that whole video that commented got that. So hopefully you didn't send it. But Alrighty, we're going to dive into today's video. A little robot stuff. It seems like you guys are pretty interested in some of that side of what I do for work. And yeah, so thanks for watching. Make sure you're liking and subscribing merch store though you can go there that's that's a good place to buy some stuff but alrighty let's dive into today's video You are now watching Farming with Duffy Ag. Welcome back to the channel. So, doing my day job, but as you see from home. You helping out? Yeah. So let's go inside, I'll show you what we did. Come on. So there's two robots actually here. And let me explain what goes on. So this robot was put in in 2011. That one was put in in 2016, I believe. Let me do my math. No, it would have been like 17. Um, so that one will be going on four years. Yeah, going on four years. And this one is going on the 12th, 12th year of actually working. It's a 2010 model. Uh, so both of these are the older design of De Laval's robots. We have V300s, which is the newer design. Totally different platform as far as the hardware side of it. But the only differences between that one and this one up until today was we used all sorts of vacuum operated valves to actually wash. And so as you see, we removed all of the vacuum operated valves because the problem with vacuum operated valves, a little bit of moisture gets in um it sucks it into this block which is an organ block and then it destroys it so we had to update the organ block let me take you over here i'll pop this cover off so these all still use vacuum these are back the actual shutoffs that tell each quarter to work but this block was updated we had already previously updated the actual teak cleaner plunger so this canister holds the wash water from cleaning the teats. But updated, updated all these valves down in here. Updated this drain valve, updated the top valve. And the biggest valves that we have any issues with were the wash valves. So that top uh, plate cover, I guess, and those black actual diverter valves used to be right here. So the main thing that we had problems were, and I can show you on them because I think they still got moisture in them. As you see, there's water in there. So water builds up inside of it and it escapes past it and then it sucks it into that white block, which is very expensive. Uh, and if you actually talk to Norgan who makes that, they question why ever it was used for vacuum on that side of it but we'd have some issues with that and then the valve would start leaking air so this one and this one are completely identical other than the shell of it now as far as the doors open a little bit differently the back doors we got this little peephole here stuff like that so they're identical now as far as the functionality um, and what this actually does it fills with water it knows how much water, how much chemical is actually put in because of the transducer. 
then it drops it in. Then each of these actually, so that goes to the uh, magazine, to the cups, and this actually goes into the spray ball, so it opens valves. We have extra valves on everything compared to everywhere else in the world um, due to safety requirements from the FDA. So all of those work, the sensors and everything like that, and they all open according to what it needs, when it needs, how much water, um, the time of the cycle, and then it diverts everything back. So I needed to switch the lid because they didn't actually line up. So we did that. We did all the valves. Um, yeah. So this robot, going on 12 years, is as updated as, well, they don't sell these models any longer because they went to the next model, but as, as updated as you can go to that. So my goal on this robot is to be the oldest robot in um, the US, sometime Canada, but there's a lot more in Canada. Um, I think Misty Glenn might be the oldest in Canada now. So they're in Ontario. But oldest in the US there's a few others in front of us um, a lot have seemed to update to the v300s because I gotta admit they're an awesome platform as far as the robot it attaches to udders that this would struggle attaching to um, so it's quicker the functionality of it's a lot better off um, and the maintenance side of it is a lot easier for my side so but they're lined up it took us about three hours from start to finish changing all the valves getting everything wired uh but overall pretty quick i think they've only done one other at least zach who came and helped who was my old co-worker who works for deal valve as a technician uh he came and they did one in western new york years ago but yeah deal valve saw the issue with being vacuum and they switched everything to air so makes a lot more sense as far as working on it and everything else, uh, much more reliable. So, I figured I'd give you an update though on this. And for those of you who have not seen what goes on in the barn, let me take you out there. Yeah. So, milking 123 cows right now. 80, 84 pounds, I think. So. Not in the best haylage, but it's all part of it, the year we had. But you can see they're very comfortable, relaxed, hanging out. There is videos, past videos of stuff in the barn, so click back. They're, they're quite a ways back because I haven't done much cow work in a long time just because I'm busy. And there's people that write that they want to see more cow stuff and there's only so much time in the day, but very, comfortable relaxed so nobody's actually been in the barn since this morning since they fed and the cows just do their own thing alrighty I gotta pick up my mess and I gotta keep going in my day got plenty of other stuff to do uh, it's like lunchtime now and we'll see what else we get into uh, they're predicting more snow right now it's like 40 degrees everything's melting so that's actually sweet I hope it stays that way but I think we're gonna get snow. Hopefully it turns to rain by the time it gets here. I'm okay with that. You don't have to shovel rain. Alrighty, appreciate you guys watching. Like and subscribe and being part of the channel. And I'll see you guys on the next one.